right, so I thought this was a pretty easy way to play this for beginners. So first thing, I just threw a capo on my first fret, um, just standard tuning. And if you don't have a capo, uh, check out the description for some links. I got a budget one down there you can check out. And then um, from the capo, uh, we're going to start with index finger on second fret of the B. And you're just going to play that. And I like to up pluck on that. Um, just because I'm going to use some alternate picking, but you're welcome to just do all down plucks. So anyway, you pluck that note, then you're going to set your middle finger down on the third fret of the B. You're going to do that a couple times. Then you're going to go. So what that is, is just starting on that second fret of the B third fret of the B, use your ring finger, fourth fret of the B, back, back, and then ending the riff on the third fret of the B. So you've got, you're going to do it again. I believe it does it four times, four full times through that. So then right after that, you get into the um, just sort of the big chorus, um, the big main part of the song. So what I was doing for that was... So we're going between two chords, a D minor. So your index finger is going to set down first fret of high E, middle finger, second fret of G, ring finger, third fret of B. And you can focus your strum from the A string down. And then you're going to move from that to a G chord. So your ring finger is going to stay where it is on that third fret of the B. Add your pinky down here, third fret of the high E, bring your middle finger up to third fret of the low E. And then if you want, you can add your index finger here on the second fret of the A. But what I like to do is just mute out the A with the bottom of my middle finger. So you're getting... Okay. So you're going between those two chords with your ring finger as a pivot. And the strum pattern... What you're doing is you're starting on the D minor. And the strum pattern is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. A little slower, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. So as you notice, you got to switch kind of early to that G. You kind of, sw you're switching at a precarious time in the strum pattern. So one more time, a little slower. Down, down, up. So you get that up to speed just a little bit. One more time, slow. All right. So you put that all together. So that should be what you need to play through this song. I did notice there was a little bridge later on. And 
That actually goes to what sounds like a D major. So your index finger would just set down, second fret of G, middle finger, second fret of high E, ring finger, third fret of B. And maybe again, focus your strum from the A string. And you'll hear um, just sort of a driving, you could just drive that chord on the D. Um, but then there's also like one other little section I heard where there's a uh, B5 shape sort of power chord and you can just sort of listen for these parts uh, but the B5 you just set your middle or uh, your index finger down on the second fret of the A ring finger fourth fret of the D pinky fourth fret of the G and you just focus on just those three strings and that's all I really heard was just like a uh, some section that goes to a D that sounded kind of like a bridge and then there's a section that jumps to that chord for a second but other than that it seemed like it was pretty much on those two chords so anyway I hope this lesson was helpful for you please go ahead hit the like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video